Hi guys, Dr. Barco here. We are going to do a minimally invasive hammer toe correction right in the office. I know you've seen these videos before, but this is going to be awesome because she has a very, very strong contracted hammer toe. Actually, she has several of them, and we're going to fix two more. We did one of them last week, and she was so pleased with the results that we're going to be allowed to do three and four today. So I want you guys, this is the beginning of the procedure. We do have a numbing injection here. We do have our cold spray, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen before. I just want patients to know how easy this is right in the office. And we do have a very brave patient today. However, this can be done by almost anybody. So I want patients to be um, confident and not be afraid to come in and at least let us evaluate you because this is something that we do in just a few minutes and you walk the same day. So it's a lot easier than traditional hammer toe surgery. So we're gonna, this is just us showing you how the injection is done. Walk around here and come here. All right, you're gonna feel cold. And a little poke on the toe. This is medicine like you would get at the dentist when they numb you up for a cavity. So the best part of this procedure is that it's a very small numbing injection. And if it works really well and the patient does well, sometimes you can do two at once which is actually what we're gonna do today so that she doesn't have to keep coming back. This procedure is safe on many patients, even including diabetic patients. So this is the beginning of minimally invasive hammer toe correction. And so as you can see, we numbed up the foot. We're now gonna let the patient sit for a few minutes and let that get nice and numb. And we'll be right back. Thank you, Morgan. Okay, guys, we're back. Now we're nice and numb. Um, and we have prepped the patient for the minimally invasive surgery right here in the office chair. So if you guys can take a look at this foot, this is the second digit that looked just like these guys one week ago. And we tested her out by doing one, one toe at a time. I want to see how patients heal. I want to see how the deformity looks after a week. So I can confidently say this was a really good job. This procedure worked really well for this patient. So I feel comfortable doing three and four today because then she's not coming so many times in a row. Um, so I want you guys to watch what I'm going to do here. So we are on the third digit on the left foot and we're going to come up and we're going to check her anesthesia here. Do you feel anything? No. Nope. Good. So we have this really teeny blade. This is a 62 blade. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make an incision on the bottom. And you guys can hear a little bit of a crunch. And then we're gonna make sure that this toe, this one's really bad. And you gotta make sure you get the whole flexor tendon. You end up getting some of the capsule as well. And then we're gonna switch it, pull it out. Look at that teeny incision. And then I like to take um, a three by three gauze and I'm gonna bend the toe into a more neutral corrected position. And then I always go in for a second swipe because I feel like I commonly miss a fiber here or there. And if not, then I'm just being extra cautious. No patient likes to be numbed up again for the same procedure. Although it happens. Okay. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna do number four here. Anything here? And a little drainage from this toe, which is absolutely cool. We want that. You want your patient to bleed. <laughs> All over. These toes are so tight. I don't know if you guys can tell the tension that we're facing here. 
you can see that toe lift right up. Turn our blade. Now we're going to correct the fourth. This foot's going to look normal when we're done. Shoot, who knew? Okay, so now if you come from the top, this is last week, this is today, we are correcting three and four, and we're going to put our dressings on and send the patient straight home and she can walk. She can walk on her way out. Now, you know, patients normally go into a surgical shoe after this, so it's not their regular shoe, but if this was the only toe she had done, she'd be able to go into her regular shoe today. So the only reason I'm putting her back into her surgical shoe is because we did additional procedures today. So this is minimally invasive hammer toe correction surgery here at Lexington Podiatry.